A key member of Duke's Final Four run and the ACC Defensive Player of the Year, Mark Williams proved he was a true NBA draft prospect with his abilities as a vertical spacer and as an anchor on defense. With those abilities and measurables matched by very few in the league, he's garnered major first round and even lottery attention. Williams is pretty clearly one of the best rim protectors in this class at 7'2 with a 7'7 wingspan and a ridiculous 9'9 standing reach. Williams has all the physical tools to be a presence by just being near the bucket. And matched with those unteachable traits, he has good timing, is a solid athlete, and it's clear that he takes pride in swatting shots and the defensive end as a whole, which really does go a long way. He averaged just under three blocks a game, had a very high block percentage, and clearly made his presence felt as that back line and help size shot changer for the Blue Devils, and will surely replicate a lot of it heading into the league. So there, just go. Nice pass. That's Tony. Oh, what a No look from Nemhard to Strother and win. At 6'10, they have lost Jesse Edwards, of course, for the season to a fracture. Well, right. well by Bancaro. Washington has to force it. For the lead, Miller off the mark, tapped around the freshman Packers. Zebron, another block for Wiggler. Pass, great cut. Ball on the ball. NBA. Hickman, the freshman from Seattle, limited minutes tonight. Great cut again. Pick and roll coverage is super important, especially for bigs in the modern NBA, and Williams projects best as your more traditional drop big. Now he is mobile and can potentially play some at least to the level of the screen, but making the end goal to funnel players down into the paint and shrink the floor is super beneficial for him and makes life extremely difficult for opponents. We'll get into some of the spots he can still get better defending here, but overall I was impressed with his ability to patrol that painted area extended and denying some of the best guards an easy look. Shot for fear of picking up another foul. Rebound. Davis too strong. Here's McDusty working on Williams. It's the number two team in the country. This is Charlie Moore. Williams has a foot. Duke's defense has been pretty impressive on the ball. Wheeler. Likes you can do some penetrating, make some shots, and find people. Don't look past. And then, uh, offensively, yes, they're going to take some difficult shots. I think it's the turnovers, the live ball turnover. There. And Williams really out hugging Williams. I think he should back Buffalo. He beats you with a three. Now he drives in, and he's a man. He has 23. Wheeler blocked by Williams. This is the key matchup. There's that ball screen. Nice. Mark Williams again. Tony coming in on him. He waits long enough. Offensively, his nearly 10 foot standing reach, soft hands, and touch allowed him to finish over three fourths of his attempts at the bucket in the half court, doing a lot of damage in the dunker spot, providing that vertical spacing, taking advantage of the help, and doing some work as a role man as well. He's not the most explosive or quickest off the ground, but his length allows him to reach necessary heights and still provide a great target for his teammates. And most importantly, he has soft hands. I really like him in this play finishing role and if you're a team with one or two guys who could really put pressure on a defense and get to the paint, I think he could shine and be a great compliment to them. Give it a go. Nice pass. Trying to take Hauser, but bring him inside and woo! Boy, Williams wide open. Not a fan to make sure he gets more minutes in this. Inside and a straight. Williams. Right over the top. 11 pass break points. Look at that advantage. Duke 20. Zip. And oh, 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 oh. as a result. Quick pass. Williams with the oh, oh, oh. Oh, They should. I mean, he's an experienced player. Great job on the screen. When Duke gets a couple of size. Their percentage of scoring goes up. 
Ten seconds on the timer. Here's A.J. Griffin looking for Will. An outright ACC championship. That really shows you the quality of the league as Mark Williams returns the Duke face. into the equation. The Blue Devils hungry after losing to Miami. And there's Big the loss for the Zags. Timmy to the bench with four. Do it. It'll take more time and he's going to wipe that away. Not a whole lot Isaiah Wong could do. And here come the Blue Devils again. Bancaro, Williams, Duke ball again. Williams to slam it home. Rejection on love, Mark Williams at the other end. Here's Trevor Keel, swats it away, two on one, up to Williams! Three rebounds already today. Running the floor is Williams, an easy flush. While also having half an eye on the future of the program. As Mark... He was also productive on the offensive glass, putting up rates similar to some of the best in the nation. Whether it was a tip in, put back, or tap out, Williams used his tools to get second and third opportunities, which is always valuable. That's what happens when you get beat off the bounce. You rotate over, and Williams has a clear pass. More. That's this Williams. Complimentary guys on this team. You know, last year, when things broke down, you had Carl pulls the trigger. Rattles it out. Williams there to clean up the spin. Agreed. To Moore. Woo-hoo! Oh, get the roll going. Moore. Moving on to the improvement areas, Mark Williams just isn't currently the type of big that's going to comfortably do a lot of work defending on the perimeter. He doesn't have that level of foot speed to really keep up with guards or wings on switches or in space. Now this isn't a giant red flag in terms of the level of concern, but it's a spot that you'd like to see him keep improving. He'll need to make a concerted effort of being more aware of who is in the pick and roll in their threat of shooting, and when he is further out just aiming for containment using the solid mobility that he does have is paramount, and he did have some great moments, some of which we showed earlier. Jaquavi on Smith for two. Final minute to go. Second team set for New Orleans. Screen in the middle, good pass. Great wide open. L. Ellis, reverse. Elbow screen. But when you ice it, you have to have defensive help, which he did not get defensive player of the year. In 2015, no Tay. Beautiful move. Now Walton, he's hit a couple of those down the boulevard and lead during the regular season. The tour's got Williams on him. Shoots over. Concern for them how they will match up against the size, in particular Mark Williams, who came off a huge game against Jordan. One of the more improved players in the league is shooting 41 percent. He launches a three. Again, the switch. Murphy drives by. Williams. Karnick the take and the dunk. Step back three instead of give and go. Five seconds to shoot. Wrong. Incredible. Having that profession. Here's Bryson Wayne. Oh, oh, oh. Good passing. The new little shot fake in the kick. Miami a two point lead. Two teams undefeated in ACC play. Hurricanes riding an eight-game win streak. Look at 25 minutes after the conclusion of this game. Hurricanes need a bucket. Wow, Williams with a... ...to reclaim the lead. But Duke have two offensive rebounders there, but the ball hit the rim. Carey runs the baseline. Wing three. Now, Williams does have some work to do as a passer. For someone who's potentially going to be a lottery pick, he'll need to at least do the minimums of ball reversal, working above the break, making timely and correct reads on short rolls and kickouts, and also just improving his accuracy and patience. Not that he'll be doing a ton other than finishing plays, but he'll need to be able to at least do more with the ball at times, especially if you're playing him higher minutes. He's turned himself into one of the better guards, not just in the ACC, but in college. Tournament against Wilberton State. Automatic switch. Williams, two on him. Waits, lost it. Great. 
Williamson's first seven points. Here's Williams in there. Good for us. And a good. Part of everything. Wide open, Big Carroll on the other end to finish it. It's not necessarily a key improvement area because for him to be successful in the league, he doesn't need to do this, but he's not giving you too much production as a guy you throw it to in the post to go get a bucket. He showed some things on seals, had a few jump hooks in there, but this will be something that comes down the line if it does end up a part of his game. The touch on some of his other finishes has been up to par, so I wouldn't rule it out. So I wouldn't rule it out completely in lower usage. And finally, though he hasn't shown much of this in a game setting, I would say he has some potential to shoot the ball and it adds to his appeal as a prospect. That late clock Dirk Fade was an eyebrow raiser, and he often demonstrated good touch, improved his free throw shooting, and also hit the few mid-range shots he took. It may never come to fruition, but I would at least explore it and see where he's at. Mark Williams is clearly one of the better true centers in this class. I think he could potentially be a high level starter, maybe right below that depending on just how good he becomes defensively, but looking at past picks that fit his skill set, the vast majority of them have kept the job, at least in a rotation for a long time. I like what he'd bring to teams like Charlotte and OKC, or Dallas if for some reason he's there, or they can trade up to get him. And it look who comes up with a steal, big fella! Just so anticipating this big man matchup tonight between Capella and Drummond. And I'm telling you, Nick, Capella oh, has from Kentucky. The drive rejects the ball. We'll see. Tatum to the basket. And Turner backs it out. On the handoff. Trey lobbing. Capella slams. He was down to four. Nice pass. Young. Mark Williams really blossomed in year two after having big time flashes down the stretch of his freshman season. So I question if he has lottery level upside, you can see the clear value in what he brings to the table, especially with his physical tools.